Interview and job search strategies that work. Episode 38. In this podcast, I'd like to talk to you about basically if you're an employee, you work for an employer, does that employer make you better? Does that leader you work for make you better? Are you a good employee or a great employee working for an okay leader? Do you make that leader better or does that leader make you better? A lot of times you may find yourself working somewhere and you're like, oh, this is a great company and you love it and you're very happy and, and you know, it's just full of ideas and you just really make, the, make your job as you own it, basically. But other people around you don't do that, they, but yet they get to pay the same as you. And I know that could probably make some individuals feel a certain way. Because here they are, oh, doing X amount of work, but the other person who's doing the same exact job, but is is getting the same money, but isn't doing as much work or doesn't care about it or doesn't perceive to be caring about it. You know, they take take shortcuts in their work, etc. So the leader's job in that case is to, of course, help the team be better. And a lot of times what you'll see is, They'll focus on the individual who is slacking, basically. Meanwhile, not praising or giving the the at a boys or at a girls uh, accolades to the individual doing going above and beyond, or just making having a great attitude, basically. So after a while, the person, the, the happy go lucky person, so to speak, or the person really dedicates their their their. The you know just thinks about the job in a way as they own it. They own the company basically. After a while, they can get on that at the the nerves of the person or make them feel like, huh, interesting. There's no growth here. So in that regard, the the employee makes the the manager or actually in this case the leader's job better, not the other way around. If that leader, I, I heard this podcast a couple days ago. On Packet Pusher, an individual whose name is Michael uh, Bushong talked about, and actually I agree with it. I've thought about it a long time, but he, it's, it's nice to just see another person actually talk about it. And that is, if the leader leaves, you know, does the team change? Is the team dynamic change if the leader leaves? Does the leader make the team better or does it make it, does, is there no change? In that regard, the leader it's, it's not really a good leader, you know, because uh, he mentions on the podcast, like, yeah, did you do a good job as a leader? And the leader's like, yeah, I did a good job. But how do you know? You know, you don't. Some, in some cases, unless the person above that leader or in this regard, the person below, because as I said, everybody, uh, the leadership works for the team. So it's a top down process, basically, where you have all of the people, the, the worker bees, basically, doing all the work. They work, I'm sorry, the, the leadership, the, the worker bees are at the top. The leaders are at the bottom. The leaders work for the worker bees. That's how it works. And then the, the leaders, leaders of the leaders work for the leaders, who then forth work for the worker bees. And... I, you know, I know it's interviewing job search strategies, and that's really one of the strategies. And if I can sum it up, really, it's just mindset, having the right mindset. Um, if you're a potential company and you're looking to hire somebody, I will, I will tell you this much. If, if that person you're hiring doesn't have the intangibles that maybe the certain skills, for instance, it's IT, and this person doesn't have the certain skills, but... Uh, though everything being the same, basically, right? But one person has a degree, the other person doesn't, or one person has a certification, the other one doesn't. Well, how you can qualify that if you want to go even depth in that, and you say, well, we're really hire this hire this person who who doesn't have a certification, but the other person has one. Well, how do I distinguish the two? I know from my perspective, it's this: Does the person have a business mentality? You know, flat out, ask him. Or on the resume, have they ever owned a business? Have they owned a company? How many jobs have they had? If they haven't had a business, how many jobs have they had? Have they had a lot of jobs? Of course, that can tell you one or two things. It could be telling you the person is not a good employee. Or it could also tell you the person is not content. 
That's how a lot of people maybe want to read that. When you see an employee or a person you're trying to hire, they have a lot of jobs and they're relative in the same market. They're IT, let's say they're IT, but they're moving up positions or they're moving in different roles, different companies, but every time they're moving into something else IT, that's a sign that this person wants to change. They want to grow. They want to become better versus someone in IT who's been there 10, 15 years, 20 years, and they're in the same role. You, don't, you know, you, you can probably distinguish the two yourself. So these are other factors you can, you can use to actually get a good employee to work for you. So I'd like to thank everybody for listening to this podcast. Hope you liked it. And uh, any re- comments, yeah, this is Anchor, so just respond on Anchor. Like, send me a message on Anchor. If you like these shows, just send me a response on Anchor. If you don't like them, send me a response on Anchor. Either way, no worries for that. I won't play it if it's... If you don't want me to play it, just say I don't want to play it or whatever. Like your message that you send to me. So here's the upsell. The first five people that message me get a free course. I have a Udemy course. It's um, about 20 hours long. And it's just skills that I've learned and that I've applied. And I just want to teach it to other folks. And it's a paid course. So the first, like I said, the first five or so, five people, right? That um, to send me a message on Anchor, I'll give them access to the site. So I'll give them like a code or whatever. I'll just like respond to your message with a code, like it'll be a code or whatever it is. And then you go on the Udemy website on the course and you sign in and then you get a free course. And that course is good for as long as you have a Udemy account. Once again, thanks everybody for listening to this podcast and have a great day.